When Emmanuel Adebayo fell out with Arsenal in 2009, he did not hesitate to sign for Manchester City. And surprisingly, he scored against them and showed openly that he hated Arsenal. You might ask how I knew he hated Arsenal. But I watched him score this goal against them and ran to the Arsenal fans stand to celebrate like a maniac. In Adebayo's admission, Arsene Wenger was a fake and could not be compared to Mourinho who was brutally honest. That is besides today's discussion. In this video, I will reveal how the former Togolese striker came out guns blazing against his own family. It will be a short video, probably one or two minutes long. Oh, let's make it three or four at most. So, in 2014, Emmanuel Adebayo's sister, this one, Maggie, gives us shocking interview at Peace FM, a radio station in Ghana. In the interview, Maggie claims that Adebayo had a bad blood with his family and cared less about his mother. Here is an excerpt of her accusation against Emmanuel Adebayo. As at now, our mother is selling polythene bags, padlocks and other things on the border. Our mother has not seen him for more than a year and he rejects her calls anytime. Our mother is not calling him for his money. She just wants to see him because she loves him very much. When Peace FM sought the Togolese star side of the story, he denied all allegations stating that his mother was the one to blame. How am I going to be in touch with my mom? If my mom is the one telling everyone that my work will not go forward, so I will just be on my side and do my thing. Adebayo would go on to accuse his family of practicing witchcraft, commonly referred to as juju in West Africa. On him, he would go ahead and bitterly reveal that I bought a one point two million dollar house in East Legan for the one talking and calling herself my sister. Can you imagine that sister went to rent the house without my knowledge? Now back to Maggie. She claims that Emmanuel bought me a pricey car, but the car guzzler is too expensive to maintain. The car is now worthless to me. In my opinion, Emmanuel Adebayo is a loose cannon. He spits word whenever and however he feels like. But on this case, I stand with him. African parents and families at large have a tendency of blackmailing their siblings and children. See, as a parent, it is your responsibility to take care of your child or children, not as a future investment, but because you made a conscious decision to bring them forth. In Emmanuel Adebayo's case, you can read malice in Maggie's words, which does not make sense. Taking the burden of educating and helping out his siblings was a noble idea and decision that was taken for granted. This is Tony Sportsai. Make sure you subscribe.